to Goody's Kitchen with your favorite cooking show host, Sheila. How y'all doing today? I have a special treat to, for you today. Today's special guest is a young lady named Tiffany who it has a nonprofit organization called Hold Em Up, y'all. So I'm so excited to have her here. She's gonna tell you more about her initiative and how you can get involved, Kansas City. And guess what we're gonna make? We're gonna make some jerk shrimp tacos, y'all. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, I'm Tiffany with Hold'em Up For Care and I'm in the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. Make sure to check out this episode. Hey y'all, welcome back. You are cooking in the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen, your favorite cooking show host. And we have the lovely Tiffany Price in the studio. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. You're absolutely welcome. It's an honor and your project, your mission is amazing and I cannot wait for everyone to hear. Yes, yes. So if you could just share with people if you're a Kansas City native, okay, kind of like maybe where you went to school at, all that kind of stuff and the name of your organization. Okay, so born and raised in Kansas City. Okay. I'm from 39th Indiana, okay. the third district. Okay. Um, I graduated from Southeast High School in 99. Okay. Um, I just graduated in December with my associate's degree. Nice! Okay. Absolutely. And you work directly with young ladies. Yes. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> and, <laughs> and what's the age group that you work with? Um, we focus on 9 through 19. Okay. Okay. But girls can develop breasts before nine. Yes. And even though they hit 19, even if they do decide to go to college, they still need assistance. Yes. And I also work with women because the best way to the child is through the parent. Absolutely. And so therefore, if the women, because I didn't know my bra size. Yes. <laughs> until I yes. started this. Yes. So in order to reach the youth, I need to reach the women so I can educate them so they can keep on passing it down. Absolutely. I work with yes. <laughs> yes. Well, they say, but, uh, teach a girl and she'll teach the village. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have all boys. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, yes. So the girls are way different. Wow. Right? Yes. I can, I, I can imagine. Uh, we're going to talk a lot more about Hold Them Up because again, Kansas City, this is, you know, something, especially those of you out there with daughters, granddaughters, nieces, you know what? We want you to listen up. But today, let me show you the ingredients for what we're gonna make. They look good. It's quick, it's easy, you know, busy moms, you got kids, you got hubbies and families and you're running here and there. You want a quick, healthy meal, I got you. So these are, today we're gonna make jerk tacos. Okay. And so, and we're using shrimp for the protein. I, see. I chose shrimp just because that's what I had in there. <laughs> if I had chicken in there, I would have did chicken. Right, okay. So if I had beef, I would have done beef. So you can use any protein that you like. And so this is about a half a pound. Uh, and so this is a jerk paste, oh. uh, one that I have grown to absolutely love. And so we just put a little bit in here and now we're just kind of mixing it in. Okay. So did you buy the paste separately or did you make it? So this paste came from a friend uh, who makes his own paste. Okay. Uh, he lives in Atlanta, Georgia, shout out to Jay Law. And so this is his jerk paste. It smells so good. It does. It does. And so I'm trying it out. He hasn't put it on his website yet, okay. but he will be soon. Uh, and so he makes some amazing uh, products. And I'm going to put just a little bit of a jerk seasoning on here. And again, it's just, I mix, I mix this up myself. Okay. And we're just going to let it sit just a couple of minutes while the skillet heats up. That's as long as we're going to let it sit. Uh, and you know, thankfully, you know, shrimp don't take that long to cook. It does not. And so we're gonna get this heated up. And so Tiffany, you said you graduated from Southeast? Yes, ma'am. Okay, awesome. Okay. And so in this griddle, I put just about a cap full of grapeseed oil. Okay. You know, uh, not too much, y'all. And uh, we're gonna, Give it just a second to heat up a little more. Is that a better um, alternative method than, I guess, the... Um... Like vegetable oil? Yeah. It really kind of depends on what you're cooking. Okay. Okay? I, I'm always going to have some vegetable oil as well. Okay. okay? But something that 
isn't going to require a lengthy cooking process. Okay. Uh, something where it doesn't require a lot of oil either, just a little bit, just enough to basically cover a little bit. Okay. I use something lighter, and and especially with with like uh, seafood and stuff like that. Yeah, it's okay. real. Yeah, something just a little lighter, but. Uh, I always keep vegetable, you know, oil, you know, so we're just going to put these in here and that's not hot enough. So we're going to turn it up just a tad bit. Now, Tiffany, what inspired you to start Hold Em Up? Well, um, I was in PLTI, which is Parent Leadership Training Institute. It's okay. A program um, that was under Sly James. Okay. And so it's 21 weeks of um different I say training to teach you um how to advocate for children. Got and it. So okay. During the um cohort we all had to do a community project. And so that wow. turned into my community project. Wow. Yes. And so wow. um originally I had wanted to do a broad drive for girls because the girls in my family are big breasted. Okay. And I was seeing a lot of hoodies and big shirts and double bras mm -hmm. and I'm like why are you wearing a sweatshirt and it's 80 degrees outside right and it was because of their breasts and so I was thinking like if I'm dealing with this issue in my family who else is going through it other families and absolutely so it literally popped in my head it was like I was like girls need bras yes I was like, oh. I was like girls need bras yes and yes that's where it just popped in my head literally which I'm thankful for the gift absolutely it literally popped in my head absolutely and girls do and so tell them because I don't think we've said yet what is hold them oh hold them up for care, care. Yes. okay <laughs> as I put the shrimp in <laughs> so, hold them up for care our main program is our bra program and that program is where we measure the girls we fit them and we provide them with free bras for school and for athletics because we don't want them to be labeled as a problem child if exactly. they are squirming in school and they can't concentrate and they're not making good grades and they're just feeling down, uh, low self-esteem. It's like, yes. why are they feeling like this? Yes. And we can't see it, but they can see it and they can feel it. And so it affects their mind, it affects their um, appearance, it affects their performance, it affects everything. It does. And so, it does. And then as far as the athletes, we don't want them to miss out on a God-given talent because they don't have a ball. Yes. So I love it. Anybody that plays sports know you run it up and down that court or on that track and they just, it's painful it's, and it's uncomfortable. So we want them to have the best support as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I don't think there's any no. organization in Kansas City doing that. Not, it's not in the world because really? I did not want to do this. Yeah. I wanted to do the bra drive, but I was like, that is not going to fix what I'm looking for. Yes. And so I'm researching like, well, maybe somebody else is doing it like a partner, partner with them. Yes. Oh gosh, nobody. Wow. And so that's when I realized this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay. There we so. go. It's all about living in our purpose, isn't it? And yes, and I'm happy because I was, at this time, I think I was maybe 38 or 39. Okay. And I was like, this is what I have been looking for all my life, my purpose. And yes. It's my purpose and I'm yes. okay with it. So. Yes. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, because it it takes each of us figuring out what our role yes. is, you know, in order to give back, you know, to our communities and so that our communities can continue to, so we can heal first. Yes. You know, heal and then thrive, grow and thrive, Absolutely. you know. Uh, so I'm going to let everyone take a look at this shrimp over oh, here. It smells good. Okay. <laughs> you just keep wipe the camera first, just to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Tiffany, you got that mixed in there. Good girl. Look at you. Yes. It does. Take a look at these jerk shrimp tacos, y'all. Yum, yum. Okay, y'all, these jerk shrimp tacos look fire. What you think, Tiffany? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all take a quick look. So I want you to see up close how good they look, y'all. Yum, yum. Yes. Okay, Tiffany. There we go. 
Yes. So, so both of them work. Uh huh. You, uh huh. Typically, when you use the corn tortillas, mm -hmm. uh, traditionally they give you two. Oh. Uh, and I think just because they easily maybe tear, you know. Uh, then if you want some extra lime, you can throw some, squeeze some lime on there, and I think I'll have a little bit of extra lime. And we just gonna taste. Mm -hmm. There we go. So good. <laughs> yes, yeah, go right ahead, honey. Taste and see what you think. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, those are so yummy. So good. Mm. It's just not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. It really isn't. But right. I did DC the jalapeno, mm -hmm. so. Oh my God. You can taste the um, the jerk spice. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Shout out to Jerry Lawrence for the jerk paste. Some good stuff. Mm hmm. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So we put the recipe up there, y'all. So I hope y'all try it. You know, again, we share these recipes because we want to encourage families, you know, to get back in the kitchen together. Oh, you okay. know, connect with your kids, connect with your hubby, you know, your, your daughters, your sons, your family, your friends, because the kitchen has historically been a place of refuge for us, okay. you know? And so that is where we learned how to cook, but that is also where we got our hugs. That's where we got our discipline, you know? Uh, we learned how to work together as a team in there. You know, everybody congregates to the kitchen, you know? And so the kitchen is the heart of the home. And so we want you to try these recipes, but we also want you to take advantage of the information and resources that the guests yes. like Tiffany bring uh, to you. You have daughters, you know what? You're not sure uh, if she's been sized properly, you know what? Hit Tiffany up, okay? That's a resource, you know, for us out there that a, a much needed resource. And so tap into it, y'all. And so how could, if people wanted to volunteer to they just help to our website, okay. which is um, H-E-U, the number four, yes. C, yes. A-C.org. Um, Got it. Y'all see that across the screen? We are write all it over down. Facebook, okay. Instagram. They can always um, send a um, message. Okay. Or they can call or text 816-892-0749. Um, Got it. Call. Um, of course, they'll get a report and say, <laughs> leave a message. Right. We'll respond to you. But text messages. Okay. We text. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Yes. So yes. They, they can volunteer if they need services. We will give them options for the events that we have coming up. So okay. therefore, they can come out to those events and get services. Um, love it. If you have bras, even if you need bras, but you still have bras that you can't fit, we take donations. So nice. because the stores don't let you return them. That's true. So that is true. That is true. So yes, I am so glad that we have this opportunity. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, I do too, honey. I mean, you could have been doing anything, you know, but you decided <laughs> right. to spend your afternoon uh, with me, and so I don't take that for granted. Okay, not at, not in the least bit. And so it is it is a joy, you know. Uh, and if there's anything that we can do mm -hmm. to push the agenda for, you let us know. Okay. You know, we, we are here for it. So tell them one more time how they can find you on social media. Um, we're on Facebook. We are on Instagram. You can go to our website at heu4ckc.org. Um, call us 816-892-0749 or send a text message reach out. We are here. Reach out, Kansas City. Thank you all so much for watching. Try the recipe and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. Mwah.